Hi, I'm John Treger, Mayor for the Haraki District, and uh, the main office for the Haraki District is here in Pyro. I've been asked to talk a bit about um, what council does and, and, and why would people want to come to Pyro? <clears throat> Probably easy to start off with my own self, um, having a born and bred Aucklander and moved down uh, for three or four years with uh, my wife, uh, Evelyn, and our six month old baby. Uh, we only came down, we bought a business down here and uh, we only came down for three or four years and intended to move on. I can tell you now that's 35 years ago and we have no intentions of moving on and we will be retiring here uh, when I finish this job one day in the future um, because it just become a great place uh, to live. It's been great to bring up my family. Um, I have three, uh, three children, two girls and a boy, all done very well. Um, I have one that is now um, uh, lectures at university and travels overseas, lecturing at other universities. She has a PhD in accounting, uh, specialised in accountability. I have a son that's uh, uh, in engineering um, and is an engineer. Um, all done through the, 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 the college here, uh, through uh, the Pyro College. So, um, you know, I, I think that what this town does offer is it's big enough to have all the main facilities you need. It's certainly very affordable. And the other thing, it's really quite close to usually family and friends, whether that's from Tauranga to Hamilton to Rotorua to Auckland. Or, you know, and, and that has an advantage. The other big advantage, of course, is we're very close to the Thames Hospital. Um, and, and what council has been has recognised is that it is becoming quite popular to, uh, for people to retire. Um, and uh, so we have been looking at how we might ensure that our infrastructure and facilities that we're putting in uh, cater um, for uh, people of my age and a bit older uh, that are wanting to retire. Uh, for instance, we are right now on the planning stage of a brand new library. So we've also looked at um, making sure that uh, footpaths and that, and it is generally, Pyro's pretty flat, so it's easy to be able to, to get around. Um, so that's one of the things we've been doing. Also though, we, we do recognise that we are getting actually quite a few younger ones actually starting to move down here. Um, and I think that's for lifestyle. Um, it's becoming quite a popular lifestyle place, uh, this area. It's very close to the Coromandel. Um, and, and, and I think it's, uh, people are starting to say, do I really have to live in a city and with all the things that a city has? Sure. Um, look, I was in, ha in Hamilton last night, my wife was there to a function last night. It's only an hour away, or whether it's Auckland, it's a bit of just over an hour. Um, you can pop across there for the day or for the evening uh, to take in a show or a, a, a dinner if you want to go out and have a bit. So it's got that advantage with it, it's, not, it's quite close. I, um, I think the other, the other big thing that we have in this town is just the way that people get on with each other. We have so many organisations that put on some incredible events. Um, we've got already um, this month, of course, the big Battle of the Streets. Uh, which is the biggest street racing that you'll see uh, anywhere. Uh, one of the few left. Uh, big event, attracting um, 15,000 people plus. We have the Scottish Highlands Tattoo and Games. Uh, another great event. One of the few that runs not only uh, uh, Scottish Games and that during the day and a big tattoo at night. One of the few outside Edinburgh, actually, that, that has that. Um, and, and a great event. And it's probably all these events that are put on, and as many of them, that was probably the reason, I believe, that Pyro actually uh, was uh, the finalist and was awarded the New Zealander of the Year Award and the, um, as Community of the Year uh, last year. And that, that was real great kudos. Um, and a lot of people have picked up on that and why. We do have, believe it, uh, we have a very low crime rate. Um, it is low. I've just met with the police recently and um, we, we are consistently uh, below, uh, quite low in crime rates um, uh, compared with, um, with some of the other towns in Waikato. Uh, and I think that's, that's starting to get through. Uh, we also just have put the big cycleway in, uh, the cycleway through the Cranghack Gorge here, just out of town. Uh, it's become extremely popular 
and that's um, given the, the town a rejuvenate. I've never seen this town so busy uh, over the over the last uh, summer holidays. Been extremely busy, and the reports that I'm getting back is that um, particularly food premises, but but uh, people seem to have had a better year than they have for some time. Uh, so yeah, um, I'd, I'd suggest that um, if you're looking for somewhere, if you want to get out of the city line, that Pyra is a Pyra definitely is a must to be considered and to be and to look at. Uh, it's very affordable. The, the, the housing is, is quite an affordable price, and um, and for those, what we are getting people that have moved from either from Auckland, sometimes in the Coromandel or Bay of Plenty, where they have quite an expensive home. Uh, because of property values and land values gone up, have sold up, have moved uh, to Pyro, bought a similar house or a slightly better home, uh, but it's a better home for less, and it's allowed to have them to money in the pocket um, and to either take that holiday or or just have some money in the bank for security. Uh, and, and we're getting more and more of that. Uh, it's quite surprising just how many people have moved here. So uh, I would encourage anyone that's looking at, uh, at uh, purchasing a home or wanting to re relocate, come call in Pyro, um, talk to Harcourts, see what they've got and have a look and I'm sure you might be pleasantly surprised.